Tensions are soaring between Manila and Beijing once again. In the South China Sea, the Philippines vowing to remove floating barriers that the Chinese Coast Guard allegedly erected in disputed waters. Well, this was to block Filipino boats from entering and fishing in the area. Manila shared these images showing a blockade in the Scarborough Shoal with Chinese Coast Guard ships nearby. The Philippines discovered the obstacle, estimated to be around 300 meters long, during a routine patrol near the shoal on Friday. Manila says Chinese Coast Guard vessels initiated a series of 15 radio challenges to force a Philippine Fisheries Bureau vessel and more than 50 fishing boats out of the area. It strongly condemned China's move and accused Beijing of violating international law, as well as the traditional fishing rights of Filipino fishermen. China's hit back at these accusations, saying its Coast Guard took necessary measures in accordance with the law to block and drive away a Philippine vessel in a disputed area. It's accused a Philippine boat of entering waters near Huangyan Island without its permission and says the vessel tried to ram into a lagoon. The South China Sea is a rich fishing ground believed to hold as well vast reserves of oil and gas. More than half of the world's fishing vessels operate in these waters. China claims 90% of the South China Sea overlapping with the exclusive economic zones of Vietnam, Malaysia, Brunei, Indonesia and the Philippines. For more, CNA's Bernard Bernal joins us live from Manila. Bernal, the Philippines vowing this time to remove those barriers allegedly installed by Chinese Coast Guard vessels in these disputed waters. Is this likely to escalate? Well, according to the Philippines Department of Foreign Affairs, it was a violation of international law uh, describing that installation with the China Coast Guard uh, estimated to be at over 300 meters uh, at the southeastern portion of the Scarborough Shoal. This is a 150 square kilometer chain of reefs and rocks surrounding a lagoon, and an escalation of tensions is precisely the concern of many. Now, to recall, in 2016, the Permanent Court of Arbitration in The Hague ruled that Scarborough Shoal is a traditional fishing ground for different nationalities, including the Philippines, uh, China, including Taiwan, and Vietnam. And that is the reason why the National Security of Advisor of the Philippine Secretary Eduardo Año is calling that installation of a floating barrier a violation of traditional fishing rights of Filipino fishermen in the area. Now, one senator, Jingoy Estrada, said he will soon visit Zambales province, which under Philippine territory has jurisdiction over Scarborough Shoal, to see what help can be extended to the fisher folk there. Another senator, um, uh, Risa Ontiveros, also said that this act should not go unpunished. Well, it should not go unpunished, but even if the Philippines removes those particular barriers, there's not nothing stopping the Chinese Coast Guard from putting more barriers in. And what are Manila's actual options at this point? Well, a former Associate Justice of the Philippine Supreme Court, Francis Hardaleza, who was also the sitting Solicitor General, when a 2013 suit was filed before an arbitral tribunal that later on, three years later on, invalidated China's Nine Dash Line claim, asserts that the Philippines should file a fresh suit, and this time around, claiming damages over what he said were environmental destruction uh, by China in the West Philippine Sea, which is how the Philippines calls its territory in the South China Sea. Now, these growing tensions actually continued despite what happened in January, which was the establishment of a direct communication line between the Philippines and China when it comes to maritime concerns. And yet insiders tell us that that open communication line is not exactly as expedient as uh, they desire it to be. For example, in a recent incident where a water cannon was used against a Philippine resupply mission in another area of the sea, it took seven hours before the Philippines got a response from China. Oh, thanks. That CNA's Buena Bernal reporting live to us there from Manila. And on this issue of filing a new case on these barriers, we will speak to an analyst about this later on this bulletin.